Your worth is not contingent upon how many Instagram followers or how many followers and likes you get, period. I know I've been away. I'm just trying to get my paper straight, girl. Don't get my shit away. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be switching it up a little bit. So the last time I talked about an issue that was more mental health related, it got a lot of views and I got a, a lot of um, DMs and but not on Instagram of you guys telling me how much that helped. So I wanted to kind of talk about more topics in this lane um so here we are and today what we're talking about is why you shouldn't get caught up in likes and followers on any social media platform not just instagram um but instagram happens to be one of the ones like one of the most okay how do i explain this instagram happens to be a platform where i'm the most prominent you know for me personally Instagram and TikTok. So um, the things that I have to say, I'm going to be speaking from experience and I have my handy dandy laptop in front of me so that I can keep my ideas consistent and concise. So um, the first thing I want to say is your worth is not contingent upon how many Instagram followers or how many followers and likes you get. Period. Just leave that there. Um, you're worthy simply because you exist and you're a human and honestly social media is just a way for us to connect to other people that's what i see it as but in a lot of ways it's become a dick swinging contest like who has the fattest ass who has the most likes who has the most expensive clothes shoes and cars um so think about that you know most of the the high paid or the influencers and famous people with a lot of followers um they're putting on a front um some of the the like the famous people and the celebrities yes but a lot of influencers don't really live that way um and a lot of them have said things about running up credit cards and all these other things to keep up this image it is an image. It's not necessarily their true lifestyle. So don't let that, um, you know, dissuade you. And another thing that I want to mention is don't get caught up in the followers part of it. Um, I remember explaining to my boo the, the other day because I made a joke and I was like, man, I would cry or I was like something. I was like, I would cry if I got 10, 10 likes and he got quiet. He was like, I've been getting 10 likes and then I had to break it down for him. It's okay. Like I just made it as a joke. Like if I actually did get 10 likes the way I thought about it, I would be okay with it. So here's what I said to him. So, okay. Let's say that, let's say that you have 500 followers, right? Imagine going to a conference, being in a room and you're speaking to 500 people. Imagine if you have a meet and greet and 500 people show up to see you. Let that be the same way that you look at your followers. Um, and to further this example, what I said to him was, okay, imagine those 10 likes are 10 different people coming up to you in person to give you a compliment. In person, if you had 500 people show up to your meet and greet or to hear you speak, you would be excited. If 10 people, 10 people gave you a compliment each, you would be so happy. That would be such a huge confidence boost. But in social media terms, 500 followers to a lot of people is not seen as a good thing. It's not celebrated. That's a lot of people. You have an audience, whether it's five, 500 or 50,000, you know, speak to your audience. You know, having that amount of followers is okay. Um, only getting 10 likes on a picture is okay. Like, I'm just, 
to me, it just doesn't make sense how we place value, more value on likes on the picture over real interaction with people and with humans. Um, Cause like I said, if that many people came up to you in person, you would be happy about it, but you're not happy about getting 10 likes. It's something. Um, and I feel like all of those things should be celebrated. Me personally, I was at first, I was excited to get to 10,000 followers, right? But as I said before, when I got around 12,000, I got stuck and I was stuck at 12,000 for a couple of months because I started worrying about, I, I wasn't really appreciating it. I was like, oh, like 12,000, whatever. How do I get to 15? How do I get to 20? How do I get to 50,000 followers? Um, and that mindset had me stuck, you know? Um, it's okay to want more, but in the process, be happy for what you got. 12,000 followers was a lot. As I said before, a lot of people never touch 10,000. A lot of people never touch five. So if you have those amounts, don't take it as a small thing. Um, okay. So what another thing that I wanted to say is social media is a source of income for a lot of people, including myself. But what I really want to focus on with my platform is connection to people. It is a way for me to make friends with someone that's halfway around the world who has similar interests as I do. Um, I stopped looking at it as a way to show off. To me, it's a way to build connection. And I build connection through the points that I want to focus on. I focus on confidence and self-love, style and beauty. And I also focus on comedy because I love to laugh and I love it when I can make other people laugh. My focuses are not on showing off the latest thing that I got, flexing my money, you know, or running up my credit card bills and putting myself on a limb to impress people that I don't know. Um, so the connection is in me doing the things that I really want to do because I want to do these things. Um, when I come up with content for my audience, half of it is for them, but the other half is for me. Like I said, those videos that I make, I make myself laugh. I'm laughing at them because they're funny. You know, when you're posting your content, it should be stuff that you enjoy making. Um, at the time, at the time when I didn't enjoy making content, my audience wasn't receptive to it. You know, it translates that way. When you enjoy doing something, people are going to enjoy, enjoy it and enjoy and enjoy receiving it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get my next one. Okay, so as I was saying, once again, if you have 500 followers and you're getting 10 likes, it is okay. <laughs> um, your value isn't in how big your audience is, it's in how you communicate with your audience and if you're being true to yourself. So the right people will gravitate to you. And like I said before in my Mind Skin Connection video, when I focused on growing an audience, and obsessing about it, it didn't happen. So I'm glad that it didn't happen because it really forced me to look at what I was doing wrong. Um, I put way too much energy into social media. Like I said, for some people, yes, this is a job. For me, it definitely is a means of income. But what I found is I quit the last job that I had because I just, I couldn't do it. It was not making me happy. It wasn't making me happy. It wasn't adding to my happiness. And it was stressing me out a lot. Um, it was just, it was so much wrong with that job. And what I realized is I wanna do jobs that I enjoy doing. I wanna do jobs that I'm passionate about. And I am passionate about the content I create whenever I'm creating it because I love to do it versus creating content because I want to grow my followers. Followers, likes, comments, and shares will come when you are posting the things that you want to post. 
Um, and like I said, don't let it be a dick swinging contest, you know, and unless that's who you are, some people are flashy and they like to show off. But if that's not you, stay true to who you are. So um, another thing I want to say is overall, I really think that social media is supposed to be about connection. You know, like I said, I can connect to someone around the world. Um, I can connect to someone that's in my city that I've never met before. You know, that's what it's for. And also sharing my art, sharing my modeling pictures, sharing the makeup looks I come up with, sharing those outfits that I put together and style tips and beauty tips and mind skin connection tips, all of those things. So just keep that in mind and don't let what you see on social media influence you to the point where you just you think that it's the end all be all if you have let's say you have 5,000 followers and you're only getting 10 likes it's okay it is okay you know learn to appreciate where you are and know that it won't always be that way you know have fun in the moment and just go from there so i'm not gonna make this video super super long it was kind of me ranting but you know what i don't care i i know that this video is gonna help someone so that's all that i really care about so make sure that you like comment and subscribe and make sure that you follow me on instagram and tiktok at shade not adieu and i will see you in the next one